Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video, and this video is the first of the month, so I'm going to go over the movies I bought in the previous month, which is July 2017. Got a little stack right here, so it's not much compared to what other people buy out there, but this is what I got for the month of July, and I already mentioned it before, but if you're new to my channel, I kind of cut back on my spending because I really am trying my best to save up for my dream car. Oh, two more years to go, then I'll have it. So let's go ahead and kick off into this. I didn't see this movie until I bought it on 4K and it is a good looking 4K. The sound quality is great too. And I absolutely loved it. Can't believe it took me that long to see it. And that's Leon the Professional. Really, really awesome movie. I absolutely loved it. I loved Gary Oldman in it. It's just strange seeing him play like such a jerk besides something in the fifth element because I'm so used to seeing him in Dark Knight only because I watched that movie so many times I guess I got used to his character in that movie than seeing him playing like a corrupt cop in this it was just like different to see but absolutely loved it but there was like a couple times where I was just like well this is this is uncomfortable because knowing how young Natalie Portman was in that movie and there was like a scene when she was in the same bed and she was getting out and she was pulling her pants up I was just like my gosh it's like really uncomfortable I, I wasn't I'm not sure how it was around that time but I, I'm guessing there might have been controversy with that for her the fact that she was smoking and stuff like that but do you think a movie like that would be made nowadays that's kind of hard to say because that was some there was a those scenes were uncomfortable with her talking about like you know if you've seen the movie you get it but I don't want to say what she was talking about so I don't spoil it for the people who hasn't seen it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the next one before I say anything else. I got the 4K edition of The Fifth Element, Steelbook 2, and I'm really disappointed in this Steelbook release because of one thing. Usually if you get a Steelbook and something that looks nice on the outside, you would like to have the inside looking great too, but it's just plain, like whatever color that is, teal, greenish, or whatever. But it's just, blah, it's just so plain. I kind of disappointed in that release. But overall, it's a good looking 4K, good sound quality. So definitely check this out if you're into 4Ks, and you like the fifth element, definitely pick it up. Luckily, I don't have the fifth element on DVD or Blu-ray, so it wasn't a double dip for me. Speaking of double dips, I remember hearing about this and a lot of people were really ticked off because so I, didn't see any of these movies until I just bought them recently too, so I know a lot of people were so ashamed of me that I haven't seen They Live, and this was such a good movie. Sorry that it's going in and out. I'm using my webcam off my iMac. But They Live was such an awesome movie. Another one just like Leon, I can't believe it took me so long to see because I love John Carpenter, but it took me a while to see this movie, and I absolutely loved it. And I really don't want to give anything away in case if you haven't seen it, but man, this movie plays a bigger role today than it did back then, it feels like, with all the subliminal messaging and all that, so definitely a crazy movie to watch, so check it out. And I do have the Fog Steel book, and I do have the posters that came with it, but you know, you'll have to see my unboxing video. I, I don't want to talk about that and, because this is about the movies I bought, not about the posters. But point being, I have not watched this one yet. I haven't seen The Fog yet. Just been running out of time recently. Just on Monday, I accepted some overtime. So I've been really extremely busy here this last week, but I go on vacation here starting Saturday, so I can't wait. I'll be able to sleep in a little bit and actually go to the gym without things getting in the way, so rock and roll on that. Anyway, I did see these movies, except for part I have not seen that yet and I might be wrong I don't want to keep looking down into this and all that but if you've seen it is this the one where apparently there was like a part three and it wasn't the same guy I remember hearing that and I don't know if it was oh sorry wrong side if it was the warlock but I got the blu-ray collection from a what, what are they called again Vestron video haven't seen what it looks like on Blu-ray yet, but I do have the DVD to part one and part two, and I haven't seen the transfer yet. As I said, I've been busy. I can't wait to watch it because 
The Armageddon was one of the ones that me and my friend Todd used to watch a lot when we were hanging out, and we loved part two just because it felt like a good movie at that time. We knew that some of the acting in it was just terrible, but we didn't care. We enjoyed the movie, but this is another one that you should pick up if you like Warlock 1 and 2. As I said, have not seen part three yet, so I'll be trying to check that out. And a classic right here. Absolutely love it. And basically, I don't want to say too much. Like I said, I'm afraid that there's people like me who's not caught up on a lot of movies and don't want to spoil anything, but this is one you should add to your list. I was doing some grocery shopping and I had to go to the other side to where they have like, you know, antifreeze and uh, fishing equipment, you know, that side. So I was passing by electronics and saw Salem's lot hanging there for like seven bucks. I was like, what? For the Blu-ray? So I picked that up in a heartbeat. I was like, I don't got the movie yet. So good time to add to my collection. So really enjoyed this movie. I think you will too. So definitely check this movie out. And what did you think about it? Okay, now we're on to the last one. And I just did an unboxing of this and I love it so far. Please don't be mad. <laughs> I haven't seen this one yet either. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all my horror fans out there. I haven't seen it yet, but I will be seeing it here shortly. And that is Reanimator. I can't wait to pick up, uh, I think my friend said Bride of Reanimator has a steel book coming out. So it's perfect timing for me since I have not seen them. So I can pick up the steel book, but the Arrow release, I can't remember if he also said that it's kind of going for a lot of money now or something like that on eBay. I'm not sure, but this is a beautiful, release looking at it and I just absolutely love it so definitely if you're into Arrow and if you're into Reanimator which I'm pretty sure you are because everybody seems to love this movie definitely pick this up and there's like a little typo on the back I'm not sure if it's going to focus on it it doesn't look like it but round right here if you ever get it read it really close because it actually says it some becomes clear that West it's like what? It really does say that. It's like right here if you don't believe me. And like I said, it won't focus when it gets up close, but it some becomes clear. Like, did they proofread that? <laughs> no, but anyway, just messing with them. But I really love Arrow. Beautiful release, love the little comic in it, and I haven't read all of it yet, but I really need to watch this in a heartbeat. But what should I watch first? To all the people out there who love horror movies just like me, out of the ones I have not watched yet, which one should I watch first? Reanimator? The Fog? Or Warlock Part 3, which I feel nobody's going to vote for. But hey, these are the ones in my collection I have not watched yet. So what is your vote? Which one should I watch first? Because I won't have time today because I got to wake up at 2 in the morning and start getting ready for work. And it's 2.36 right now, so I still got to... Go to the store, gotta go get some grocery shopping and all that good stuff, take a shower, shave a little bit, I'm itchy. But okay, and that's all in my collection. What did you pick up for this month? Thank you once again for stopping by and watching my video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Check you later.